cue the spooky music. This weekend's weather will be ideal for some fall family fun. And if you are looking to get into the Halloween spirit, St. Charles is the place to go. Damon Arnold is so excited. He's already there. He is live from the Katy Depot at Frontier Park this morning, Damon. Yes, legends and lanterns. I wish I could tell you how mesmerized and like I'm, I'm learning about so many things right now. <sighs> Ryan Cooper is the producer of this festival. Can you tell us legends and lanterns? Oh, absolutely. So we like to call it a spirited journey through Halloween history. Ooh, just felt a bit of a chill there. It does. <laughs> <laughs> well, very appropriately. So we like to have what we call edutainment. You learn something while you have a little bit of fun here as well. So, for instance, we're in our beautiful 1893 Victorian train depot, which for the Halloween season becomes a Victorian morning exhibit. You have uh, exhibits all about, you know, the fashions of the time, the social mores, our period-appropriate trash can in the corner as well, the scariest thing of all, <laughs> litter. <laughs> All throughout the place, uh, down the hall a little bit, we have an exhibit called Tinseltown Terror. It's a salute to the golden age of monster movies. So, you know, all those classics of the 30s, 40s, and 50s, sci-fi B-movies. Uh, but also we have a number of exhibits all about, you know, poisonous and carnivorous plants or gargoyles. We have our characters, of course. We have the Brothers Grimm over here. They have a wonderful area called Writer's Block where they hang out with Mary Shelley who wrote Frankenstein and Edgar Allan Poe. And they do a hilarious 15-minute show that takes you through 200 years of horror literature in 15 minutes. So lots of really great exhibits and, and characters to meet and fun to be had, all for free. Yes, and I, I, I wish I could paint the that I've seen today. Uh, again, I told you earlier about my fascination along with Victorian uh, mo morning. Yeah. So will you walk me through when and where people can come and take advantage of this free event? Sure. So the, uh, the witching hour, pun intended, is almost <laughs> here. Uh, we start tomorrow, the 14th of October, and we're the last three weekends of October, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, so we're here tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we encourage everyone to come on out and, and see all there is to enjoy because there really is something like this is an all-inclusive event. Also tell me, uh, what's the response been in the past? I mean, some of these are kind of scary, but some of them are really friendly. And so what's yes. the, the way you get there? Yes, you know, we're mysterious, we're macabre, but there is a lot of humor with this event. I mean, just looking around, look, you can have sushi with the pirates. Yes, uh, Octopus, always my a favorite time. delicacy. Uh, but no, one of our things is that we really want to make sure that this is an event that whether you're four years old or 104 years old, you're going to be able to enjoy and have fun together. So if you like history, we've got history. If you like like whimsy, we've got plenty of whimsy to be had. So we're very proud of the fact that no matter what your background is, where you come from, there's a home for you here at Legends and Lanterns. Ryan, you've been amazing. Well, there you have it. Get out here, because I'm going to be out here. I'm actually going to take a tour right after I cut this camera off so that I can leave immersed in the spirit of Halloween. Damon, thank you. And actually, Damon's going to then put the camera back on because he will be live from Legends and Lanterns during today's Great Day Extra Live that kicks off on our Facebook page around 10 15. Join us, join Damon, join the crew out there. As always, GDXL brought to you by the Bomberito Automotive Group.